A lot of beginning artists ask the question, how do you find style? And in this video I'm going to talk a bit about how I did it and how I think it's the best way to approach it. Let me start with defining what a style is. I think having a style is like, is a habit. It's about having a consistent way of drawing that is recognizable to other people. And I think a style is made out of four characteristics. Which the first one is shape, uh, drawing, how you draw things. So how you draw noses or if you have a really loose or a really realistic style. So it's about the shape and how you draw things. Second one is the material we use. For example, if you use paints like gouache or if you use watercolor, or maybe you work with oils or pencils or maybe you mix a lot of, uh, a lot of materials maybe use collage then there is related to that uh, colors and textures so um, inks for example only do black and white or if you work with pencils you can have more texture but it, you can also do it on purpose you can watercolor much smoother or much uh, more textured for example and then last one is subject matter so some artists do, for example, feminist art, or uh, you can have a very narrative style, or you do like stories in your things. Or I also know artists who paint almost only waves, and there's people who make comics, funny art. You know, subject matter is part of style. And if you change one or two of these characteristics, uh, your style will still be recognizable, it's still your style, uh, as long as you keep the rest consistent. For example, if you use another material, but you draw in the same way, and uh, the same colors with the same subject matter, it's gonna still be recognizable to people. But I think that being consistent or having a style is not the best goal for a beginning artist, because it's beginning, it's really important to experiment. For example, 50 ways to draw eyes and then pick the one you like the most. Or experiment with different color palettes, with different subject matters, and different mediums. And pick the stuff that you like the most and just discard the rest. And you'll end up with stuff that you like and that's unique to you. And this will develop into your style. You can also look at uh, art you love and ask yourself, why do I love this? Is it the colors? Is it the way they draw, I don't know, noses? <laughs> is it the composition, the material they use? Uh, for example, I've been really drawn to this pencil texture. I've seen in a lot of illustrations lately. So this is a little experiment as well, <laughs> this drawing I'm doing right now. So look at art you like, look at what exact uh, aspect you like and try to incorporate this aspect in your art without like copying the whole thing. Which also, uh, there's also a time and place for that, but... So developing an art style takes time. You need to do a lot of experiments and just find a, find all these little things that you combine into your style. But you could do it like quick. <laughs> for example, in the first um, sketchbook I did, I sort of developed the style by just using the same pen for outlining and always using the same watercolors and like never drawing a background, always drawing the same kind of face. That way I kind of did have a style. So it was recognizable, always the same, but it was also really not versatile. I kind of had same face syndrome and it was more like a lack of skills, but it was recognizable, you know. My style was kind of characterized by having a lack of skills, <laughs> but it's okay because I enjoy drawing and it was all fine. And I kept trying new things and I developed and evolved a lot. I've had a lot of different kinds of art styles over time. Although they're actually, they're quite similar, but to me they're different. <laughs> like with different materials and stuff. And I'm sure I'll have different styles in the future. It kind of gets boring to me if it's too, if I do the same work too long. Also, I would advise you guys not to get too hung up on it. 
there's illustrators who get stuck in the style and clients and people on social media expect this style from them and if they do something else then people are like what what's this, this is not <laughs> what we are knowing you for um and that's not fun you need to be able to draw whatever you want in whatever way you want so be happy you are free right now to try whatever you like and keep experimenting and you'll find your style eventually Thanks for watching. If you guys could leave a comment or a like, uh, that would help me feeling encouraged to make more videos in the future. So if you'd like to see more, leave a comment. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.